Have you ever wondered what all those pops, creaks, and crash might look like in lights? Neat! Welcome! This series of videos will focus on how to construct an Arduino-based view meter, like this one. For those unfamiliar with such, a view meter or volume units meter is at base nothing but a device that attempts to capture and process in some way and then visually display amplitude changes in an incoming analog signal. In our case, it's an incoming audio signal that this particular sound detector is picking up. It's picking up the sound of my voice. And so what are the stages? Just a preview of what the stages are. First, the mic on the sound detector generates these small variations in voltage. Those variations are they're fed into an onboard amplifier and they're well amplified. Then the voltage peaks and valleys of that amplified signal are tracked via some peak detection circuitry. All of this is built in to this one little sound detector. And then that peaked and valley signal is sent out through a pin on the sound detector over to our Arduino on one of its analog pins. Once it reaches the Arduino, the Arduino's analog to digital converter scales that peaked and valley signal along a 0 to 1023, at which point the code running on the Arduino reads that scaled value provided by the analog to digital converter, compares it to a range of thresholds that have been set. They've been inside the code, so they're hard coded. And then based on which threshold is being surpassed or at least reached at any given moment, that determines, given the way the code's written, how many of these LEDs light up or off at any given time. If all this makes sense to you, then you're well on the way to understanding, at least in general, how this particular view meter works. We'll talk more about the specific tasks performed by our sound detector, and the Arduino, the code in the Arduino, in the next few videos. For now, that description I just provided should suffice. And if you've been paying attention, especially if you've been paying attention to how these lights are dancing based off of my voice, which is the audio source that this sound detector is pulling in, if you've been paying attention to how these lights are dancing up and down, that if I talk louder, all of them go on. If I talk quieter, just a few of them come on. Then you've got the idea of how view meter works. As far as most of us will need to do it as a sort of Arduino hobbyist style project. In the end, view meters are one of the more simple while at the same time really fun sorts of sound reactive projects to build. Now, so that everyone's on the same page with this particular project, I think it's helpful to mention a few of the objectives that guided my hand during the construction and design of this particular view meter. First, I wanted to use an Arduino, though it's of course completely possible to use other microcontrollers or to use the popular LM39, 14, 15, 16 chips. They will do a similar thing, but not quite the same as this particular view meter. You can build a view meter in a lot of different ways. But for my purposes, one of which is to help beginners and those just past the absolute beginner stage learn more about the coding and interfacing side of Arduino projects and especially how one can do some really neat sorts of things with very basic coding knowledge ready-made parts etc incorporating an Arduino just made the most sense. Second, I wanted this project to be relatively inexpensive. All told Building this particular sort of meter shouldn't cost more than around $30 to $40. That price will increase if you put it in an enclosure, but just the parts on this board, $30 at most. Third, I wanted the meter to be tunable and responsive to a wide range of voltage levels, as well as capable of repeatedly making a complete swing through all these LEDs. When there's no sound, all the LEDs are off, and when there is sound, they don't immediately max out. And the way that I built this meter, I've added a potentiometer and the thresholds that are in the code enable one to adjust how many lights will come on based on the 
amplitude of the audio signal one's pumping into the Arduino. A lot of times you'll see view meters where the bottom lights will stay on all the time whether there's sound or no sound. But I wanted a meter where they went all the way off and they had the most dynamism, the most dynamic response. And fourth, while on the topic of the code of the Arduino, I wanted the code to be understandable by an absolute beginner, or maybe not an absolute beginner, but someone who's played around with an Arduino, they've encountered the if and the the if, the else, and the else if control structures, but may still be scratching their head a little bit about things like switch case control structure. I wanted to be able to make a meter that was approachable and doable by those people just getting started or that have been working with an Arduino for a few months. And this sort of layout and the code included on it make that possible. It's understandable by definitely people who haven't been working with an Arduino very long, but they, but they can make this really cool sort of sound reactive project. That being said, the code that we'll get to in a later video is not the most efficient code. It's not the most nice code in terms of the Arduino is having to work hard to do these particular lights. But if you notice, it's highly responsive and it works. And that's what I was after, is just something that would work that gives fairly decent response and that's easy to understand for people that are just starting out or have been working for a few months with an Arduino. And finally, I wanted a view meter that was quick to build in terms of hardware. And that's one of the reasons I picked using a sound detector rather than trying to run audio an audio signal directly into the Arduino. You could do that. You wouldn't necessarily have to have a sound detector hanging out here to get the same sort of responsiveness, but you would very likely need more interface circuitry than just one wire going from one pin to that sound detector to an analog pin to the Arduino. And when one's just starting out, the less hardware you have to learn and make sense of is often a good thing. So those were the objectives that were guiding my hand while designing this particular project and this series of tutorial videos. With all these words out of the way, we're ready to move on to the second half and likely more exciting part of the video. Namely, we'll see how this meter performs when exposed to various types of music. Note that each of the music clips used were provided by YouTube, royalty free. Anyone can find them inside the creator section of, a, of their YouTube channel. And also, a complete listing of those tracks will be in the description of the video.
I hope those clips provided everyone with a sense of how this particular meter will respond to a variety of songs, music genres, etc. And if you're interested in building a meter like this one, then check out the next video in the series in which the schematic, the parts, and assembly of this circuit are discussed, as well as the video after that in the series where we'll step through all the Arduino code that's with the thresholds, etc., that's driving these LEDs. Until next time, if you enjoyed this video, please click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.